Now in this video we're going to go and set up the site. I have to sign into the back end first. Now the first thing we need to do once we sign in here is generate a license key. So let's just click here and then you have to follow the directions here. So you have to create a member account here. So click on that, it'll open a new window and then we're going to create a new account register here okay so let's go back now and then use the same thing to sign in here let's generate okay and it's created a license key for us I'm just going to copy this just in case but it says to close the box and save the changes so we close the box and then we'll just save the changes right now and there's our license key populated in there for us now we'll get started here we're gonna just change the things on the front page here so this is fairly easy to do what we want to do here is just put in what our sites gonna be about so we will say Tablet video is all about internet tablets, for instance. The website URL, that's the URL where we are right now, except for we're in the admin directory. So we're in the URL where we installed it slash admin. So I'm just going to put mine in here. So this is where my site will be. I have to put the trailing slash in here like that. And then you can change the meta description here. This is for the search engines. And then your keywords. Okay, so here's our license key that has been generated for us. And then next we want the YouTube developer key. This is optional, so you don't have to do this. But if you want to put one in, you go to more info here. And then over on the left side, you can go register developer keys. Okay, that's gonna, you need to log into your Google account here and then you can just agree to the terms and services above and register a key okay and then it will register a key for you so you need to register a product here so what we'll do here is we'll call it our tablet videos and whatever you want here Okay, and then our website over here. So we're going to put in the home page here. And then we're going to save. And here now is our developer key. We'll just grab a hold of this, copy. And then we'll take it back over to here and we'll paste it into our developer key. Let's save these changes. Okay, now we have the, the basics set up here. Now what we want to do is go start putting what our content's going to be. So you'll see it comes pre-loaded pre with a bunch of categories here. And you can delete these, any of them, if you want. You can also add categories down here. So if you click add, you can do something down here. So let's put in tablets. And 
All right, let's do this. Um, let's see. Android tablets. And then let's add iPad. Let's add Kindle Fire, for instance, or we can just put Kindle. So go along like that and put any in that are relevant, and then take any of these other ones out. So let's just delete the ones I don't want here. We could leave gadgets in there. Maybe gaming too, because gaming happens on tablets. So you might get some that are a little bit out of out of your realm here. Now, if we just go down to one of these, for instance, Android tablets, let's preview. Okay, and here's what it's going to look like now. We have our categories coming up and bringing the videos in that have to do with Android tablets. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for there. So as I say, just customize this so it matches what you want here. Okay, there we go. Now, there's a comment here, just you can use Longtail Pro. It's a third party uh, tool that you can use to generate and there's a charge for it. 10 day trial. You could also use the Google keyword tool if you want to get some more categories in here. All right, so let's go to display now. This just displays what things look like on your page. So right now we have the home page view mode and the search results view mode as a detailed view. You can change both of these to thumb views as well. Then the videos per page on the home page, on the search page, use uploaded videos per page. You can set all these the way you want. Use favorite videos per page, related video position, sidebar or middle, and then the active template. Okay, and this is the only template we got. So we're not going to change anything there. You can if you want. Your video player, YouTube video player, and the custom video player. So you can use either of those. Unless you want to enable the playlist, you should leave it on the YouTube player, otherwise you might want to use the custom video player. Okay, let's stop here for a minute. Now, let's go view our site. And you see here, we want to change this to our own logo. So if I right click on this and do open image in new tab. Okay, so here it is. now. If I copy the out of the address bar, the URL, and let's open that and put it in Notepad for a sec here. So it's in our URL slash templates slash modern tube slash images, and then it's called logo.png. Now, if we look at the properties of this, well, I guess we'll have to save it first. Okay, so what we want to do is make an image the same size uh, that to replace this. Now, that's going to be 468 by 60 most likely, but let's save the image. And let's just, well, it doesn't matter. I'll save it to my downloads here. So here it is, and let's just do a properties to see the size of it. So right click, and properties, details, and it's actually 360 by 68. So what you want to do is have a PNG image created at 360 by 68. I'm just going to create a quick one here using paint.net. Okay, so 350 by 68. Okay, so this is a program you can download for free called paint.net. And I'm just going to create a new image. So I'll go image, and then we'll go resize. And then we will go 
we're going to uncheck uncheck maintain aspect ratio and we're going to go 350 by 68 and click OK okay so there's our size now you can do anything you want with it here I'll uh, add a new layer now you can always get somebody to create one for you if you're not good with images that's what I usually do but I'm just going to create a quick one here and then I'm going to add another new layer and just put some text on here Okay, that's about as simple as it gets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'm going to change it to a PNG, and I'll just overwrite the one we had before here, so logo.png, Save. and then click OK and fly. Now what you want to do is upload our new logo over top of our old logo. So let's close this and cancel here. So we'll open up our FTP program FileZilla again. Okay so I've navigated to our tablet videos on this side. Now we just need to go to where we said here. So if I bring this up, we need to go to Templates, Modern Tube Images. So we find Templates, Modern Tube Images. Now we're going to upload this logo and click OK. Now I'm going to go back to our site. Well, let's just refresh this. And there is our tablet video. So if we go back now, and refresh here. There's our tablet video. So now we have personalized that part of it. Let's go back into settings now. And we will continue with the rest of the setup in the next video.